We have hazy skies here from Glendale, and so we are talking about a very hot week. If you are waking up and you're stepping outside really any morning for the next several days through the end of this week, it's going to most areas be feeling like it's on the warm side. So we are heading into a heat wave again. There's also been an inversion in place, too. So at some of the higher elevations, we've been hanging on to some pretty warm temperatures overnight, even in the 80s for some spots. Now, those are in some uh, very kind of patchy locations. So you don't need to grab a sweater as you are heading outside. Today is going to be a little warmer than yesterday. We are going to start on this warming trend now, and that's going to take us all the way through the end of the week, and then we'll finally start to see some relief by next weekend. But we're going to have these excessive heat watches for some areas go in place Tuesday, tomorrow, others for Wednesday, and they'll take us all the way through Friday night. It's the entire Southland under this excessive heat watch. So they're going to start to get upgraded to warnings as we get a little bit closer, and then we might even see some heat advisories be issued for the coastline too. So we're going to see warm temperatures pretty much everywhere and it's going to be a long stretch of heat for these inland spots too many days with triple digits uh, it's close to 70 in ontario riverside hemet all at about 69 degrees temecula 65 we have some mid 70s out into the high desert really going to start to pick and up Woodland tomorrow and wednesday luckily today on your labor day we have this low it's right off the coast of California and Oregon. This is going to start to move on out to the east. It's not cooling us off today. We are still warming up. It's just preventing that ridge to move in until tomorrow and Wednesday more so. So this is what's going to happen. You start to see that trough pick on up and move out to the east as we head into your Tuesday. And then Wednesday, that heat really picks up into Thursday as well. And that ridge just continues to build. It goes all the way up into the Pacific Northwest to Thursday. That's going to be the hottest day this week when we are talking about some very dangerous heat for inland spots. Thursday, 111 degrees. There's even about a 20% chance that we could get closer to 115 in areas of the very western parts of San Fernando Valley, like Woodland Hills, to 117 degrees. It is going to be a long, hot week here, John Rachel.